Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. Hard to believe we're about halfway through the Del Mar summer meeting, and that means we have the Pacific Classic coming up soon, and then coming up quicker than we can expect are the grade one two-year-old events the final weekend of the summer meeting. And that means first, the Del Mar Futurity, the closing day. If you remember last year, Breeders' Cup Juvenile winner, Kentucky Derby winner, Nyquist, powered home to a win in the Futurity after a win in, in the Best Pal, which is coming up this weekend, Nyquist obviously was head and shoulders above that class and it looks like we have two horses that are probably a head and shoulders above the rest of their class thus far first we've got chasing aces who made his second career start at del mar on opening weekend and in that july 17th maiden special weight event not only did he win relatively easily but he broke the five for a long track record unbelievable effort from the peter miller trainee owned by rockingham ranch they sold off a good portion of uh, their ownership to this they skipping the best pal. They're going right to the Del Mar Futurity where they'll likely be the favorite. But the runner-up out of that July 17th maiden event is straight fire. And wow, was he straight fire in his maiden effort last Saturday. Wow, all I can say, this horse is powerful looking. He won easily. His stride is long. The DeSormos have something special here. The son of Dominus, they spent a fortune for this guy given the stud fee of Dominus. And wow, does he look the part. I think he gets better as they go further based on the way he looks and runs. And I think he's going to turn the table on chasing aces. Wow, the Del Mar Futurity, though, should be exciting between those two. Maybe you got a few others that would be in with a shot. Big League, another Peter Miller, Rockingham, Runch Runner won easily, but not in quite such a flashy time. It should be interesting. Maybe one of them can be like Nyquist, win the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, and maybe move on and do something in the Triple Crown. It'll be exciting to see. Then, of course, we have the Del Mar Deputant, the final Saturday of the meet. If you remember last year, which of course you do, it was all Songbird in the two-year-old juvenile Philly situation out here. Songbird took down pretty and cool in the Del Mar Deputant after a powerful maiden score at the meet. And she went on, obviously, to do amazing things both as a two-year-old and now into her three-year-old career. Yes, she's probably a once-in-a-decade type filly. I don't know if we have any of those on site this year at Del Mar, but we have a competitive group, and it's led by trainer Bob Baffert, who has two. First, he's got noted and quoted who comes out of a, the most live maiden Philly event thus far at the meeting where she actually finished fourth in that race. But then on Sunday, she proved that she might be the favorite of the Del Mar debutante with an absolutely beautiful performance in the fifth race of the Sunday card. She ran on great. She showed she could take a little bit of a trouble trip as she was boxed inside a little bit before Bayerano got her out. Noted and quoted, looks the part. And then you have the more highly talked about in terms of breeding and whatnot uh, for the two fillies for Baffert, and that's American Cleopatra, who's the full sister of American Pharaoh, the, of course, the last year's Triple Crown winner. American Cleopatra was disregarded by betters in her debut. And they, many thought that she would need the race, prefer going further, but she had the speed to get out there. She uh, dueled a little bit with a long shot and then powered home to a nice-looking win in her first start. She'll be one of the favorites as well in the Del Mar Deputant. Then you have two others coming out of that uh, highly regarded maiden special weight race that noted and quoted finished fourth in. The winner was Morganite, a gemologist filly for Heronis Racing. John Sadler got a nice trip at a nice price that day uh, and was able to hit the wire first. And then you have the runner-up in that day and the recent winner in the Sorrento Stakes, and that's Champagne Room. This broken Val Philly is a very nice runner, had a trouble trip, as I just said, in the debut. They put her right against winners uh, just on Saturday in the Sorrento. She drew outside, got a great trip and a good ride, and was able to hit the wire first. She'll be a force in the Del Mar Deputant if all goes well in between now and then. And you also have... The runner-up in the Del Mar Deputana, the Sormo Philly, by the name of Miss Southern Miss, trouble trip in the Sorrento after a maiden score at Santa Anita and a second-place finish in the, at Del Mar. She put forth a nice, a nice effort, 
maybe as good a champagne room in that race, but the trouble trip cost her the win. I look forward to seeing how she runs against the best fillies other than champagne room in the Del Mar Deputant uh, as well. And then a wild card is with honors. This war front filly went long on the turf in her first start. What an impressive effort it was to battle on the lead early and then pull away in the end. Very, very hard to do in your first start going two turns on the turf. Flavian Pratt was aboard. LNJ Foxwoods. Uh, this one is related to Dreamologist. And she may give it a shot in the dirt. She may go in the juvenile fillies turf race, though, instead. We'll see. But she's definitely one to keep an eye on, especially as we approach the juvenile fillies. All right. So a relatively slow week at Delmar this week. We do have the best pal uh, stakes uh, on Saturday headlining. But we're getting closer to the Pacific Classic. And, of course, it's always great to keep an eye on those two-year-olds. They'll really be um, headlining the cards uh, as we get to the last weekend of the meet. And then we'll start thinking about Breeders' Cup Juvenile and Juvenile Phillies. All right. Exciting times. Stay with us here on Shapcap as we move towards the Pacific Classic and the end of the meet. Good luck and hope to see you at the windows.